Hey guys, welcome back to the Giz Guy channel. This is Neil. And I don't know about you, but I've been watching a lot of Netflix lately. I've also caught up with a lot of the TV shows and movies that I haven't watched in a long time. I've also caught up with a lot of games from the Nintendo Switch. And I have been playing and watching them all in this new massive 100 inch laser TV from Hisense. And in this video, we'll be showcasing the Hisense 100L 10E. Okay, but before we begin, I want to talk about the key specs of the 100L10E. It has a 100-inch ambient light rejection screen. Uh, it has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 or 4K resolution at 60 Hz. It supports HDR, MEMC, color coverage of more than 95% of the DCI-P3 color space. It has three speakers, two 20 watts, one 60 watts, and one subwoofer. It's running on Vida UOS, and it includes the TV, the screen, and the subwoofer when you purchase it. Uh, for the measly price of only 745,000 pesos, you can get this massive laser smart TV from Hisense. The laser produced is made from the X-Fusion laser light source, advanced laser engine, and the dual color laser. Hisense says that the image produced uh, is able to have a contrast ratio of 1500 to 1, and the light source can last up to 25,000 hours. So you don't have to have any concern about the light source dying out on you when you're using the laser TV for an extended period. It comes with several picture modes that you can switch on the fly depending on the type of content that you are viewing, watching, or playing. Aside from that, it includes motion estimation and motion compensation which smoothens out the fast moving images making you, uh, giving you a more clear image at 4K 60Hz. As you can see here, we're already playing Netflix at the back. It is running on Vida UOS and it consolidates all those items in a single menu for ease of use and ease of, easy for the user to find them. Lastly, it has a built-in sensor that makes it safe for laser use at home. So as you can see here, if I go closer to the projector, it will have a timer which will automatically turn off the projector like it did right now. Of course, why don't we now try uh, several Netflix shows and uh, YouTube while watching on the Hisense 100L 10E. So over here, we are looking at Netflix's Lupin. It can run at 4K, it has HDR and Dolby 5.1. So let's start the show. By the way guys, the image quality will also still depend on your internet connection. So make sure you have a very fast internet connection so you can play 4K on Netflix. As you can see here, if you can hear it, I don't know if the microphone can pick it up, but the subwoofer is really working for me. I really feel that thumpy sound. All right, right away I noticed that the contrast using the HDR content is pretty, pretty okay. The colors are very muted somewhat. But you gotta really um, hand it to Hisense because the size of the screen, the 100 inch screen is really immersing me. I'm standing here just a couple of feet from the, um, the, the TV itself and it's really immersive. I can really feel that the image is so big and that subwoofer really adds to the experience. I also love the three other speakers on the projector itself. It's really added to the overall feel. How about you guys? What do you think? Let's switch on YouTube next. All right, then switch to YouTube. By the way, guys, let me show you a little bit about the remote control over here. This thing is very sleek and very lightweight. Over here is where the battery is. It takes triple A batteries, as you can see here, triple A. Then you just put it in. It's very sleek, very sexy. Press it in back and it locks in. And then of course, we have here the power button, the media buttons, media app buttons. We have the home, back, play and pause, volume, channel controls, and that's it. It's very sleek, lightweight, and very, very simple. So let's watch some YouTube. 
let's watch some 4K content. I'm enjoying this experience. And because of, as I said, the 100 inch display, the screen is rejecting the ambient light. So we're getting a little bit more contrast. We're also getting a little bit more detailed 4K images. Look at this, it's so beautiful, right? It's also immersive. For example, you're just a couple people at home. It's really nice. But what do you guys think? We'll let the camera roll and you see for yourself how good the image is. Okay guys, we're here in Breath of the Wild. We're gonna try and play those monsters over here. And right out of the box, when I'm playing um, Zelda over here, I can see that you really have to find a console or whatever media consumption box you have and see that the, uh, it supports the aspect ratio of the TV. And I'm getting a lot of apples. Let's find some, another, that, was a, that, was a, that sword was too powerful. And as you can see here, the draw distance is pretty far. This means that the console can really push it. And while we're panning the camera over here, as you can see, the transition from scene to scene is very smooth. I mean, it's very interesting. The color and the contrast I really like. And because of that massive screen, the 100 inch screen, is really immersive. I could just stand here and play and be very immersed into this world. It's all very, Immersive and I'm enjoying Zelda even more now It's gonna fall off. Let's chop a new one. Let's chop a new bridge. I don't think I don't think this This first bridge will be able to cut it All right, there we go. Let's just jump over here I can't jump there we go. Oh my god that we almost fell Oh, well, there we go. Okay, guys, that's Zelda Breath of the Wild. Volpex. Moltres. There we go, we beat Squirtle. Okay guys, my experience with Super Smash is a little bit different from Zelda. The colors are a little bit different in this game, but it's still very vibrant. And the controls are very... It's very instantaneous, which I like. And we're also getting that 60 frames per second goodness. But of course, since the uh, Switch can only push up to 1080p, it's very good. One last round and then we'll move on to the next segment. No, look up. <laughs> oh well. What do you guys think? Okay, guys. To summary, to summarize what we did today, we looked at the Hisense 100L 10E, and we saw how immersive the massive 100-inch screen is. The added uh, effect of the subwoofer really added to the overall experience, maybe gaming or watching videos. The integrated speakers are also very loud, very powerful, and the image quality. It's very contrasty for a laser TV projector and we can really see all the colors and because of the 4K 60 frames per second, uh, 4K 60 hertz. Okay guys, in conclusion, 
I really enjoyed my uh, short time with the Hisense 100L10e. The massive 100 inch screen is able to really immerse me whenever I'm watching videos or playing games. The laser projector is able to produce highly detailed 4K images at 60 hertz, so I'm able to feel the very smooth uh, 60 frames per second videos from YouTube, and the 4K resolution from those videos well is very sharp. And when I'm playing games, I can really feel the crispness and speed and response responsiveness of the game. Moreover, the subwoofer, the included subwoofer really adds to the overall experience, especially when uh, I'm playing the game in Zelda, I could really feel my footsteps and I could really feel the wind blowing through me, blowing through the air, I mean. The sound is very nice, those three speakers and the subwoofer really add to the overall experience. And if you can afford it, I think the Hisense 100L 10e is very much worth your consideration if you're looking for one of the most immersive and massive screens you can put inside a small space like your living room. This has been Neil, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have more questions, you can comment below or message us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at gizguideph. This has been Neil, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oops, now we're going to go again. What's that? Let's go again.